What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DC NBA here, and today we are back with another team breakdown. And today we are going to be doing the LA Clippers. Um, if you guys missed any of the team breakdowns, there will be a playlist below, and you can check out all of them. I'm going to be doing all 30 teams before the NBA season starts, so make sure you guys go check those out. Uh, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out, help the channel grow, so I can go and produce better, high-quality videos in the future. Uh, and without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay, so starting off, uh, the Clippers obviously lost 3-1 lead to the Nuggets. Underperformed immensely to what their expectations were. And, you know, they had to make some changes. So the first thing they did was fire Doc Rivers and sign Tyron Liu to a very long five-year deal. Do I think that's the right move? I think it's the right move if you can keep PG and Kawhi. If you don't, then that's the wrong move. But it kind of depends because I don't think Ty Liu, I don't think he's a bad coach. I don't think he's that good of a coach, though. So I think as long as the players are happy, then it'll be good. Um, so let's just talk about their offseason and what happened with them. So they lost Montrez Harold, obviously. They traded Landry Shamit away, and they lost Michael Green in free agency. But they signed Serge Ibaka, traded for Luke Kennard, and then also signed Nicholas Batum, which I think that... Honestly, they got better this offseason. Um, Abaka is better than Harold. Um, Kennard is better than Shamit. And then Green's better than Batum, but like Batum, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think they got better. I think that Ab the addition of Abaka is going to just be very good for this team. It allows them to open up their offense so much more considering he can stretch the floor. He's very good defensively, unlike Harold was. And, you know, he can be a good scorer, good defender, solid rebounder. And he just kind of makes his team so much more dangerous offensively and defensively. Defensively, I think that they'll be easily one of the best teams in the league, um, especially with Abaka. Like, they have Patrick Beverly, good defender, Paul George, good defender. Kawhi, great defender. Marcus Morris, eh, solid. And then you got Serge Ibaka. Crazy. Um, and with that note, let me talk about who's on this team. They got Pat Bev and Reggie Jackson at point guard. Shooting guard, they got Paul George and Lou Will. Small forward, you got Kawhi Leonard and Lou Kennard. Power forward, you got Marcus Morris and Nicholas Batum. And then... Center, you got Serge Ibaka and Zubac. Um, so the main thing I feel like that's going to depend on the team success is how good is Paul George really going to be? Um, because if he continues to be like a 20 inefficient 20 point per game scorer, I don't know how this team's really going to do. They need him to play at an all NBA level if they want anything to really happen from it. Um, because Kawhi is good, but Kawhi isn't going to be able to beat the Lakers by himself. So hopefully Paul George can just be, you know, the 20, like just 20, like four point per game score, shoot good from the field in three and just be a good defender like he was. Then he'll be fine beautiful hopefully it doesn't choke in the playoffs that's the biggest thing really with this team i think they'll be a really good regular season team but in the playoffs is really where it's going to count but we got to see how this team gels and how they do um i gotta i i'm very intrigued by the addition of luke Kennard. he looked like he was pretty good on the pistons you know he can shoot he's obviously a good shooter um he can do a little bit more off the dribble and he's a little bit better of a defender than um, Landry Shamit, so I think that that trade worked out well for them. 
Um, another player I'm just intrigued to see what they really are is Nicholas Batum and see how much minutes he really gets because, you know, he's going to add some nice, you know, leadership to the locker room because they really don't have a leader. Patrick Beverly's kind of their leader, which isn't good. And then there's Kawhi who, you know, doesn't isn't very vocal and kind of just leads by example, but, like, you need a real leader. Like, you need someone who's going to speak out and, like, say what's going on. And obviously, Nick Batum isn't going to be their leader, but he can, like, just add some more veteran leadership in the locker room. Um, And then, yeah, I don't know. This team has some really good potential. And we said this last year. But I think that, honestly, they got better, which is good. Um, I think that they didn't really solve the problem of getting a playmaker, but I don't really think they could um, because it's not like they were going to trade um, for Russell Westbrook and then Chris Paul already was moved. So, you know, they just kind of are trying to do what they got. So hopefully they are able um, to keep Paul George and Kawhi happy because that's kind of what the next step with this team is, is how do you retain them? I think that's honestly more important than the results of this season. Obviously you win a championship. Great. But as like for this team, the most important thing is keeping PG and Kawhi happy. So throughout the whole season, that's all they're going to be trying to do. Because if they don't have them for the next four, the three to four years, they're going to be in trouble because they're not going to be that good without them. They're going to not have any draft picks. It's not going to be good. So they need to be good, <laughs> and they need to keep these guys. Um, but, yeah, let's get right into the team awards. You have the MVP being Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year, Kawhi. Sixth Man of the Year, Lou Will. Um, rookie of the Year is our boy, Scrub. Um, didn't talk about him, but... He's a late second-round pick. Probably not going to do much. Most improved, I have Paul George. And then we got best addition is Serge Ibaka. And I think they'll be uh, 48 and 24 in the West. That didn't make sense. 48 and 24, and they'll be second in the West. Um, Again, like I said, this team is going to be very good. They got better than they were. And last season, they were you know, most people's favorites to win the championship. Again, got to see how they mesh, how they do. But it seemed to be scary. Obviously, they have the ceiling of being the best team in the league. No question. I don't really see them being like worse than the second best team in the West because they still have Kawhi Leonard, who is the second best player in basketball at the moment. So I don't really see how you could not want that and how that isn't going to be the second best team in the West. But yeah, as long as Kawhi's supporting cast plays good, the team could do something serious. And so if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All of my links will be down in the description. So please make sure you go check out my Instagram and TikTok. And if you guys um, you know, want to see other types of videos, I really am going to be trying to post more on here. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see, and I will make sure to get that out for you guys. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.